Well, hello, world. Welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and I'm back with another SSL UF1 UF8 Pro Tools hack. And in the last one, I showed how I programmed the Kensington mouse to bank the controller when selecting a track. And I'll show you real quick. So I have a two button hit here and boom it banks the controllers so if you have these controllers and you use Pro Tools or if you have any Mackie Huey based controllers you'll know that when you click on a track in Pro Tools it will not bank any of the controllers that's only um, doable with Yukon based controllers so here you go can't do it I click here double click there cool now I got a question on the last video from Sonny um, in Ireland, and if you're not subscribed to Sonny's channel, go check it out. He puts up awesome content. I've been watching him for at least a year now. And he was wondering, can we just put this on a button? And that's what I've done. Uh, I put it on a button on my UF1, and boom, here we go. So you see that? Now I go over here. And let's go back to kick print. Boom, it's doing it. All right, so how did I do that? I'll never tell you. <laughs> but um, the problem is the SSL 360 doesn't have a mouse click in it. Maybe we should all write to SSL and ask them, can we have a mouse click? That'd be amazing. So um, couldn't get a mouse click from their software, the 360 software, but I already have Keyboard Maestro. So if you know about Keyboard Maestro, um, it's not that expensive to buy it um, and I think you know once in a while it's a paid update but it's never expensive so where is my key there it is boom keyboard maestro launch it and you'll see I use it for my pro tools um, to, to so I could launch it or you know put put it in the forefront or my UAD console if I'm working on one screen at the time um, and that way I can just press a button and here you go there's my console there it is now I have the stream deck so I can do it same here but I'm, I'm still already programmed to do that but I also have different folders I can pull up using the keyboard maestro and stuff like that so there's my YouTube uh, folder Let's see, there's my clients folder. Oh, I also have my A10 mini. So I can just quickly go through these things. And now I'm gonna bring up Keyboard Maestro, which I don't have on a hotkey because I only open it up every once in a while when I say, oh, I should probably make a uh, selection track bank controller. So what I did was I made it Command F19 Right here, you tell it what your hotkey is going to be. So like I said, it's going to be Command F19. I named it up here. And then what I did for this was I had it record a new action. And I just hit Control Shift. And then I clicked on one of these channels. And then I stopped the recording. I didn't need it to be at that exact mouse click. Because if I did, then it would always go to that same thing. And if I had... Pro Tools set up a different way, or if I didn't have everything showing the same way, it wouldn't work. You want it without dragging, and then you just, I just made it to be at the current mouse location. So that means wherever I have the mouse, it's just going to do the click. It was that simple to set up in Keyboard Maestro. So I'll leave a link for Keyboard Maestro in the description um, if you're interested in having this functionality. And then you go to the 360 software, and I just went under the secondary transport uh, functions, and I went here and just put Command F19, and then I closed it. And I colored it pink because I'm a real man, and real men color things pink, all right? So, we uh, did that, and boom. And here we go, and now all I have to do is click it. And I just can scroll over here, it's one button. I don't have to do all this with the mouse. And if I had a trackpad or something like that, then it's not a big deal anymore because now I have it on a button. And it makes it even that much better of a controller for me because I'm coming from Yukon. I had an S3, I've had the dock, 
uh, I use the Yukon app um, on the iPad, but um, you know, if you use Yukon, if you mix the two together, you'll also know that you lose your uh, metering on your UF8 and your UF1, but not the plug-in meter for the two bus. You'll be fine with that, but still, um, and not anything to do with the UC one. But if you don't, you know, if I'm working on here, I need to see levels because sometimes just the levels alone with the word, it's with the lettering, you know, for the name of the track help me to know where I'm at because there's no color coding with Pro Tools, unfortunately, right now. Probably won't ever happen, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, that's the workaround. Um, if you have any other, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And like I said, I'll leave in the description the Keyboard Maestro app. If you don't know about it, it's amazing. Um, I've been using it for like a decade now um, because, you know, how many times a day do you go looking for a specific folder? You know, so I have my client folder, I have my YouTube stuff, um, and then, you know, eventually I'll put other things in there, uh, different folders. If I'm working, sometimes I just, if I'm working with a certain client, um, I might even have it there temporarily so I can just keep going back and forth when I need to get to it because, you know, you do these things all day long. You, 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 wanna, you want it to be fast. You know, I don't want to have to think about... I'm already thinking about a lot of stuff <laughs> creatively and uh, as an engineer, sound engineer at the same time and what, whatever I can do to minimize mistakes and having to use different parts of my brain 24 7 i try to do so hopefully this helps somebody out if it did hit the like so other people see it hit the bell to stay notified when i put up new content and hit the subscribe because a lot of yous aren't subscribed please subscribe to the channel it helps us out and also you know we're about pro audio but music production gear uh, playing guitars, making noise, doing all sorts of different things like that, experimenting. I do a lot of experimenting on this channel, do a lot of guitar pedal stuff, synthesizer, drum machines, all that stuff, cameras, everything. So, blah, blah, bye.